up to yesterday we are learned the classical definitions of oxidation and reduction such as addition of oxygen is the oxidation or removal of hydrogen is also the oxidation again that is reaction with electro negative element is also we have already seen that is the oxidation now today we are are learning the conceptual definitions of oxidation and reduction because there are so many reactions in which there is no addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen still their oxidation is carried out or so many reactions where there is no addition of hydrogen but they they are the reduction type reaction then what will be the conceptual definition of oxidation and reduction now now see first the oxidation now loss of electrons by any species is called as oxidation loss of electron by any species is called as the oxidation now any species mean it may be atom or it may be iron iron also lose electron uh, by losing electron the charge on that iron increases now see i show the two example are given here now see here is this is the ferrous iron in the solid state now it have the zero oxidation state remember that when the compounds are in their pure form when the compounds are in their pure form or uh, only elemental form then their charge on them is zero remember that but when they lose electron now see two electrons are given out by this ferrous element iron element it give two electron now after giving the two electron iron acquire plus two charge on it because two electron get removed so the charge on the iron is now plus two first the charge on iron is zero but because protons and electrons are equal in the atomic state but when it gives the two electron its charge increased because the electron get loose and there is loss of electron and therefore it acquire the plus two charge so loss of electron is nothing but it is the oxidation remember that this is the conceptual definition of oxidation loss of electron again here sodium sodium is in its elemental state now the charge on this here sodium is zero big sodium atom because there are same number of electrons and protons when it is in the atomic state after giving one electron sodium now acquire plus one charge now this loss of electron is called as the oxidation now how the reduction is defined reduction means gain of electron gain means take off electron by any species is called as the reduction any species means it may be in the elemental form or it may be in the ionic form also if it take electron its negative charge again increases negative charge now see here this is the chlorine gas in its elemental form here is the its molecular form chlorine two chlorine atoms because chlorine is always present in nature in the molecular form cl2 now when the chlorine take two electrons then chlorine molecule converted into chloride ion cl minus ion now if there is one chlorine ion it have the minus one charge but here in the chlorine molecule there are the two chlorine atoms so one atom take one electron and another atom take again one electron so there are formation of two chloride ion 
ions having minus one charge on them. Again, oxygen also. You know that oxygen always have the minus two charge in its oxygen ion. Oxygen. See in water H two O. On oxygen there is the minus two charge. So one oxygen can take two electron. One oxygen atom. So there are the two oxygen atom in the oxygen molecule. So one oxygen take two electron and another oxygen take two electron. So totally the oxygen molecule require four electrons. So on one oxygen ion there are the minus two charge and another oxygen ion also have the minus two charge. So gain of electron is called as the reduction. Now how the definition of oxidation and reduction now? That is loss of electron is oxidation and gain of electron is the reduction. These are the conceptual definition. Now let us learn the redox reaction again, but in terms of electron transfer. We know that redox reaction is the combination or addition or summation of oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction, and the total reaction. The summation of oxidation and reduction is called as the redox reaction. We know that the overall reaction is the redox reaction because Red takes from reduction and Ox takes from oxidation. Red plus Ox gives redox. But now let us study this redox reaction in the language of electron transfer. Now in the language of electron transfer. Now see how. The language first. Let us uh, first study two uh, different reaction. Now consider the reaction, the number one reaction. Now when this magnesium metal reacts with oxygen, we know that there is formation of magnesium oxide. So two atoms of magnesium and the one molecule of oxygen forms the two magnesium oxide. Now if we see the charge on this magnesium and oxygen what are the charges you know that here oxygen ion have minus 2 charge so 2 balance minus 2 what will be the plus charge plus 2 because plus and minus are equal balance so magnesium have the plus 2 charge and oxygen have the minus 2 charge but there are 2 2 that is the atoms of both so I write here 2 2 that is 1 magnesium acquired plus 2 charge and 1 oxygen ion have the minus 2 charge. Now see the another reaction here. Now here magnesium reacts with chlorine to form magnesium chloride. Now here 1 magnesium atom is sufficient for the 2 chlorine atoms. Why? Because uh, the chlorine, one chlorine have only minus one charge. But one magnesium have plus two charge. So to balance the plus two charge, there must be minus two charge. So chlorines are two atoms. So both these chlorines acquires minus one charge, totally minus two and plus two. Now they get balance. Now these are the reactions. Why I show this reaction? Now see, we can write this reaction as follows again. Similar reaction I write here again. Now this is the first reaction, twice mg solid plus O2 gas gives. Now I write the separately the ions of magnesium oxide. This mg2 plus and twice O minus. Now I show here the loss of electron. Now see here, magnesium lose the electron. And oxygen gain the electron. How that? Now see, this magnesium acquires the positive charge. That means there is the loss of electron of magnesium. Because there is the increase of charge. Positive charge increases. That means there are the loss. Two electrons get lost. So there is the loss of two electrons by the one magnesium. But there are two magnesium atoms. So just multiply it by 2. So totally there are the 4 electron gates lost by the 2 magnesium atoms. But we have to show here only of 1 atom 
So loss of two electron by one atom, and you can multiply it by two there. Now see again the oxygen. Now oxygen acquires the minus two charge on one atom. That means one atom take two electron because charge negative charge increases means gain of electron. So there is the gain of two electron by one oxygen atom. But there are totally how many oxygen atom two in the molecule? So multiply it by two. Now see gain of electrons are also four. And loss of electrons are also four. Now that get balance here. Now consider the second reaction again. Now here also a uh, magnesium lost two electrons, so it acquires plus two charge because it give or lost two electrons. And this fluorine molecule gains two electrons. One atom gains one, another atom gains one electron. There is formation of two. F minus ion that is two chloride ions having the minus one charge. Now, uh, in this way, electrons are balanced here. Now, what this reaction shows? They show the loss and gain of electron only. And we know that by definition, what is the loss of electron? Oxidation is the loss of electron. What is the gain of electron? Reduction is the gain of electron. So. In the above reactions, there is electron transfer. That means loss and gain of electrons. That means oxidation and reduction respectively. Respectively, why? Because loss of electron is the oxidation and gain of electron is the reduction. So uh, the two half reactions. If we add these two half reaction, what will be there? There is the redox reaction, which is the overall reaction. So the summation of these two half reactions, oxidation and reduction, is called as the redox reaction, and it is the overall reaction, which is the summation of oxidation and reduction reactions. Now let us see some key points about oxidation and reduction. Or in short, how the oxidations are defined? How many uh, definitions of oxidation? In short, see into that. Now, oxidation is defined as the addition of oxygen or addition of electronegative element or removal of hydrogen is also oxidation or removal of electropositive element is also oxidation. Or loss of electron by any species is also oxidation. Now totally we have now five different definitions of oxidation we learn. Now let us see the key points of reduction now. Reduction is defined as removal of oxygen, or reduction is the removal of electronegative element, which is just opposite that of oxidation. Because addition of electronegative element is oxidation, but removal of electronegative element is reduction. Again, addition of hydrogen is reduction, or addition of electropositive element is reduction, which is just opposite that of the oxidation. Because removal of electropositive element is oxidation, but addition of electropositive element is reduction. And the last main definition of reduction is. Gain of electrons by any species is the reduction. Now, similarly, consider the key points of oxidant or oxidizing agent and reductant or reducing agent. Now, now we we know that if any species undergo oxidation, definitely it reduces another species. It itself gets get oxidized, but it reduces. Now see here in this example. See here. Now this magnesium itself get oxidized. We know that because there is the loss of electron. But these two electrons which are given by this magnesium or totally four electron which are given by the magnesium atom to magnesium are taken. By this oxygen, because they gain electron, they take the four electron which are given from the magnesium. That means 
this magnesium itself undergo oxidation but because loss of electron is oxidation but it causes or it is responsible for the reduction of this oxygen so though magnesium itself oxidizes but it reduces another substance by giving the electron because gain of electron is the reduction so this magnesium metal is the reducing agent remember that though it self undergo oxidation but it is the reducing agent because it reduces the another substance by giving it the electron similarly see this oxygen it gain the electron so it itself reduce by gaining the electron there is reduction of the oxygen but the oxygen gains the electron from magnesium so it is causes for the oxidation of magnesium so oxygen is the oxidizing agent but magnesium is the reducing agent now this is the very clear you have to understand similarly here magnesium is oxidized but it is reducing agent and fluorine get reduced but it is oxidizing agent because it oxidizes magnesium it uh, forces magnesium to lose electron and itself it gain that electron so itself it undergo what is reduction but it is the oxidizing agent fluorine is the oxidizing agent you have to understand this very clearly uh, though the students uh, go into the higher standard but they do not understand this what is the oxidizing agent and what is the reduction? if we ask them what is oxidizing uh, dizing agent or oxidant they may be tell wrongly that the substance which undergo oxidation is oxidizing agent that is not true the substance which undergo reduction is the oxidizing agent now that is very important now let us see some key points of this oxidant uh, and reductant now the key points of oxidant or oxidizing agent a oxidant is the reagent or a substance which itself undergo reduction and causes oxidation of another substance such as that of oxygen and fluorine they undergo reduction but they causes the reduction of magnesium so a substance or reagent which undergo itself reduction and causes oxidation of another species is called oxidant or oxidizing agent and reductant is the or reducing agent is the reagent or substance which is defined as a substance or reagent which itself undergo oxidation though it is reducing agent but itself it go on uh, go oxidation and brings about the what reduction of another uh, substance or species and therefore they call as the reductant or reducing agent now this is about the oxidant and reductant now let us see very very important concept of oxidation number that is very important for the next standard and also this standard also if you do not understand oxidation number you can uh, not solve the problems on oxidation number or balancing of the reaction of oxidation number which is of four marks and two marks problem are also there in examination on the oxidation number and four marks problem are also there uh, on the oxidation number in the examination now let us learn the new concept oxidation number now oxidation number is nothing but it is the it is the sign and number now the signs may be positive or negative and the number is there that means uh, it is the charge present on the atom when it is in the compound form now see oxidation number of element in its compound is defined as the number of electrical charges it carries is called oxidation number now see in the water h2o what is the oxidation number of this hydrogen and oxygen can you say now see what is the definition oxidation number of the element in a compound is defined as the number of electrical charges it carries in is called oxidation number 
Now what electrical charge we, if we ionize this water? Here is twice H plus plus O minus minus. Now see if you ionize the water. Okay. Now what is the charge on this hydrogen plus one and oxygen minus two? Now this is the oxidation number. The charge present on the element in the when they are in the form of or in the compound form. When two element or two more than two element combine and form compound, then the charge present numerical value and sign is called as the oxidation number. Remember that. Now we will see the rules of assigning oxidation number and then the problems numericals on that that are very important.